More than 7,000 people in the UK rely on an assistance dog to help with practical tasks, in addition to the emotional benefits and greater independence the dogs bring. The largest assistance dog charity is Guide Dogs, which has almost 5,000 working partnerships at any one time. Assistance dogs come in all shapes and sizes, and each one will have their own identity book to officially recognise them as a working dog. This is Joker. Uh, he's two years old. He's a working guide dog and he's a Labrador Retriever. Hi, my name is Joel Young. I'm a guide dog owner. This is my second guide dog, Eleanor, who is a German Shepherd Cross Golden Retriever. This is Atlas and he is a Golden Retriever crossed with a yellow Labrador. This is Lexi. She's my guide dog. She's been my guide dog for just over six years. She is an Italian Spinoni crossed with a Labrador. Guide dogs will always wear a white harness and a reflective badge on their lead. Other assistance dogs such as hearing dogs for deaf people, canine partners and medical detection dogs all wear branded dog jackets or ID tags on their collars. I mean there are people that think that these dogs don't enjoy their work, um, that they're in harness all the time and that you know they're used as a commodity rather than um, allowing to be a dog and it's it's just not the case most of our dogs are not working certainly for majority of the day they'll take their, their the service user from A to B but once there they'll be out of harness they'll be allowed to rest obviously they're given the best food and water that they, they could ask for and these guys they wouldn't do the job if they didn't enjoy it I work full-time have done for a long time now um, I've been with Dorset Police for about 13 years my team that I work with, they all love Bess, all of them do. She is definitely a member of the team. She's not just my guide dog, she is definitely part of the vetting crew. I decided to investigate into guide dogs and how they help people. We decided that I needed a companion, I needed something to get me out of the house and to help me and to, to give me some worth. I heard that uh, maybe you shouldn't have a guide dog because I'm a Muslim. When I start finding, I find out that there is no problem at all. I'd been in holidays with other visually impaired people and met the dogs and seen that their lives seemed, you know, a lot richer with the dog. And it's not just the mobility side, um, I've seen the companion side as well. A guide dog gives me a lot more confidence when out and about. I can move a lot faster with a guide dog because I know that it will make sure that I don't walk out into roads. Uh, it's trained to walk in a straight line and guide me around obstacles, so very often I don't know the obstacles are there. Although an assistance dog enables greater freedom, there are still some access issues. The law, as it stands at the moment, um, covers somebody um, with their mobility aid. So a dog is classified as a mobility aid in, ter in terms of an assistance dog. So ideally they would be allowed obviously to go into all the premises that they want to go into and won't be questioned regarding it. Obviously that doesn't always happen and they do get questioned on occasions. So I nipped in into this cafe for um, lunch. I just had a certain amount of time. All I wanted to do was go in, have a quick snack and a coffee and, uh, and I was refused. Three quarters of guide and assistance dog owners have been refused access. Legislation in the UK means that people with a disability have the same right to services as everyone else. The assistance dog sticker should be displayed to show that all guide and assistance dogs are welcome. My local pub's brilliant, really cool. They've been excellent since day one of having Beth. When I walk in with Miss Thing, they've got a bowl of water ready for her or nothing's too much difficulty for them. If the dog is in harness, please do not just go up and touch the dog. Please ask the owner. Having said that, if you see me and Bess in the street, or any guide dog owner, and the harness is flat down on the dog's back and they're stood on their own, ask if they need a hand. That could be a signal that we're lost or, or confused or we're looking for a particular shop or area and we can't find our way around. So many people want to give the dog tip bits, even if you go into a restaurant, the dog is lying under the table, well behaved, and I've had people come up and say, oh, I've got a little bit left on my plate, do you think my dog would like a sausage or whatever? As much as I'm different, because I have this great big hairy advert walking beside me, I'm also normal again. I can get out, I can do stuff, I can get on a bus and go somewhere and not have to think too much about it. The difference that Atlas has made to me is immense. I can't explain really the difference that Atlas has made to me. 
Having Joker has definitely changed my life. It's definitely just made me a more confident and happier person, really. <laughs>